Hi everyone, Kathy Max and Craft Creations by Kathy. Today we are going to be doing a Mother's Day craft. We're going to make our mother a wreath. We are going to use four different kinds of poly burlap and we're going to use this ribbon right here. So we're going to make bundles um, out of our poly burlap and then we are going to um, add the ribbon as well. So let's get started. Okay, out of the four colors, whatever is going to be your base color, we are going to cut that at 12 inches. And I decided I'm going to do the purple on the bottom. So I'm using a wood burning tool. I have my cutting mat underneath uh, on the bottom and then I have a tempered glass so I have glass here that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting we're going to be um, wood burning the poly burlap on the um, tempered glass so you're just going to go through make sure your wood burning tool is hot enough and you're just going to go through and burn it with your wood wood tool on the glass. So we're gonna cut six pieces of each color. Now the three remaining colors, we are going to cut those at 10 inches. So this is inspired by Holly Hobbies on YouTube. She did a fall a fall one and I thought how cute this would be uh, with pretty pastels um, colors for Mother's Day so that is where this came from and to hold my um I have a potato potato masher so that's what I hold my wood burning tool with. So if you want you can clean up the edges. buy your poly burlap places like the wreath shop trendy tree Risa joy craft outlet this color is blue what it says. Let's cut our ribbon. We're gonna put ribbon, three ribbons in each bundle. I'm gonna cut them at 11 and see what I think of those in the bundles. If we need to come down, we'll cut them down. Uh, the ribbon I got, Old Time Pottery. So that's been in my stash. 
going to fold it in half, join the ends together, and then I'm going to fold those in half again, and we're going to dovetail them. So I'm going to cut from the fold to the open end up at an angle, and there you have your dovetail. I wish I had pink poly burlap, but I did not. That's why I'm substituting purple. Okay, we're going to use our Bodabra as our holder. We're gonna take our base color, which we just I determined was gonna be purple. We're going to just, it's gonna be your ruffle. So we're just gonna go into the middle and ruffle right up the middle. And then you want to make sure you get it in the center. And that's pretty good. Then the next color I was going to do, we're going to do this color. I should put them. So remember the three colors we only cut 10 inches, where the base color we cut at 12. I'm going to do the yellow, just scrunch up the middle, walk your fingers basically, find the center of that, and put that in your Bodabra. And next we're going to do blue. Make sure those are in the center. And that is our four colors we're gonna be doing. Then we're going to be doing, we're gonna do a crisscross and then we're gonna do one in the center. So a crisscross, we're gonna do this. And do it up and down. Fold it in half, find your center. Scrunch. We'll crisscross this way. I liked this blue because I think this blue matched the ribbon well. So that's why I decided to do the blue on top. Find the center. And then this one will go straight across. So that is our bundle. We're going to get our 14 inch wreath frame. This is from the Dollar Tree. Um, mine had silver. This was actually in my stash. And we're gonna zip tie at every crossbar. So that's how we're gonna get the six bundles. We are going to go at from the outside in, row one, two, three, and four. Or if you count the other way, one, two, three, four. So either way, we're gonna do the second to the outside. I'm gonna get my zip tie in. We're going to grab our bundle. I'm going to stick my bundle right on top of the zip tie. Now here, if you want, you can start Make sure your items are where they you want them. And I know I was having problems picking up this purple. I want to make sure my purple is right where I want that as well. Make sure my little crisscross is there. And then we're just going to pull tight. And I did leave some pliers. Now pull tight and then you just want to make sure and the more you handle poly burlap the more it frays as well Whoa. I 
I'm just going to cut. Maybe. Because my pliers don't want to work very well. My cutters don't want to work. There we go. So his, here is our pretty stack. You can fluff the ribbon. And that's going to be our stack. And then I'm going to come back and we'll put like a pretty flower. So I have all different kinds of flowers. We'll put a flower in the middle to hide our zip tie. Let's get our second bundle. This bundle, I'm gonna put here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do every other one and then we'll come back and then we will fill the other ones and then that way they'll go right on top. So I think I want my good sides up and down, my finished edges. Tighten it completely down. Get your tucks. Get your stuff even. So see, that's how our little flower bundles are going to look. Last bundle. This is how it's looking so far. I like the idea of doing the three every other one and then putting these three over top of those because these bundles are just big in that, so you kind of... ones can go over top that that fluff them up how cute is that now now we need to decide 
what color little flowers are we going to put in there? So what do I have? So we got the blue. Let's see. Hang on. I thought I had. So we got this blue got some glue on it. So we got three blues. Let's do three greens because the pink. Or is that how we should pull the pink in? I'm trying to look in the screen. Which colors I like. I like the brighter colors. Do I have... So if I did that, then I could do a yellow there. Then a pink. And then a green. Something like that. And that way that will pull the pink in. Let's do that. So these are flower stickers picked up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they were in the Easter craft, so I've had these in my stash. Um, if you want, if you have styrofoam balls, you could put styrofoam. Let's see what the styrofoam balls would look like. You know, you can put a styrofoam ball like it's the center of your flower. I like the little flowers so I'm going to stick with that but that is another option. So these are sticky and if you want you can push that zip tie down Got my glue gun. I remember to pl plug my glue gun in. Even though these have a sticky, I'm going to pull the sticky off. Maybe. That's probably how long they've been in my stash. I'm just going to put some glue in the bottom of the sticky. Put up the little label there. I'll just hold it a little bit. Till it sets up. So that's what I'm going to do all the way around. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me get some pictures and get it on up done posted.